What's up guys? It's Jesse. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick little uh, unbagging, I guess, uh, thrift haul video. I've got a couple bags of die-cast cars here that I found some really, really sweet stuff in. So let's get right into it. I want to keep this video a little bit on the short side. So see these two bags right here, Savers, $3.99 each, um, and vintage stuff is what you can expect. So you can see that guy in here, uh, some other stuff. That guy's old. Uh, the skateboard is like 1923. Uh, that's good stuff. And then over here we got a couple other stuff. That's it right there. You can see it. So let's go ahead and open these bags up. Let's. Uh, I'll save the best for last and do this one first here. So open the bag, release its contents, and see what we got. First off, obviously, this is a gem of a find. We got the Young Justice uh, Aqualad McDonald's skateboard. Uh, oh, I was right, called it McDonald's. So, whatever. Uh, we got this guy, Lucky Star. Actually, it's not bad. I mean, it's cheap for sure. But, uh, you know, wheel swap this guy it might not be too bad. Never know. So, we got that. We got a little. Uh, Lamborghini Countach action here. Another Summer. Now, I've never heard of this brand before. Summer. I don't know. They look like cheap cars, but they have metal bodies. So, that's, you know, something, I guess. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? Got this little Lightning McQueen. Uh, you know, I don't collect cars uh, stuff at all, but this is pretty cool, man. I like the size a lot. Like, uh, let me go ahead and pick this guy from the background you can see this is just the standard Hot Wheels size so just for a size comparison you can kind of see um, about half the size and this is a really good scale for uh, this size of, or this shape of car you know and I like the camo too man I, I don't know something about this car I really enjoy uh, I don't know what series it's from or where it's from or if I can get more but I would definitely consider getting more of these um, yeah, pretty cool. Lightning McQueen got his little night vision goggles on. I'll take it. Uh, let's go with this guy next. This is what some. This is one of the racing drones, I think. Um, man, I'm really good at flipping these cars upside down. Uh, it doesn't say on the bottom, of course, but I believe this is one of the racing drones. Oh yeah, it says right there, RD08. So, pretty cool. Plastic body, metal base, whatever. We got this guy. Ryra LX, not bad, not bad. Um, Porsche Panamera, pretty good find, Matchbox. I'll take it, it's in pretty good shape too. Nice headlight tampos. You can see the Porsche emblem on the front, tail light, Porsche on the back. Not bad, not bad, this is a good, good find for sure. Now let's get into some of the more vintage stuff. You can see this guy, little Ferrari with the Pirelli on top. <laughs> it's funny that the, the tampos are offset. Uh, got a little quality control issue. But no name on the base, but this is a uh, uh, metal bait, metal body again. Uh, now we're getting into the good stuff here. Uh, got this guy. This car has been known as many, many names over the years, but pretty cool. It says 1974. This is not from 1974, but still pretty cool find. Um, might be a color shifter or glow in the dark or something because this is a weird off-white color. I don't know. Obviously, it's very dirty. It needs to be cleaned up, but I was happy to find that. It's not the reason I bought this, though. Uh, we got this awesome, look at this, vintage Real Riders right here. Hot Wheels, 1982. Doesn't have the model name on it, unfortunately, but looks like some type of F1 uh, car. Open wheeler. The axles are pretty straight. You can see the awesome uh, vintage real riders with the tread so these are rubber tires on plastic wheels very very cool I was happy to find this this almost uh, to me anyway because of the real riders this almost was better than the last find here but you know not quite so you can see here we got a red line um, obviously very very rough shape <laughs> to say the least uh, missing the back hatch which is kind of a bummer 
Also missing a wheel right here. Also a bummer, but you can see there, Hot Wheels Buzz Off 1969. Very cool, another red line. So, um, I had my, uh, the other red line around here. Oh, here it is. So th this is the one I found last time. Uh, I'll link the video if you wanna go check it out. So, got another red line to add to the collection. Very cool. Now, as cool as all that stuff is, let me scoot it back just a little bit. Uh, the next, what's in this next bag is way, way better. It could possibly be the oldest die cast I have ever found. So, let's start off with the junk first. Um, see this guy, Allstate? You would think by these wheels that it's a vintage casting, but no. 2014. Probably something that they gave out for free, you know. Whatever. That's fine. Um, got this guy. This uh, iridium. There you go. Iridium. I was gonna say spectite, but I, I knew that wasn't correct. Uh, whatever, you know. Got this guy. Aerodynamic. Pretty cool. X racer version. So that that means it has the, the clear body. Uh, we got this guy. I actually have this car already. This exact same car. Torque twister that I got out of. Uh, Another thrift haul, I believe, but whatever. You know, a lot of people uh, really don't like these wheels. They, they're like the pizza wheels or pizza cutter wheels or whatever. But I think they're really cool. I don't know. I don't know why people don't like them, but I, I guess it's because they're not that realistic. But if you think about it, uh, if you go look at like car concept sketches and stuff, they sketch their wheels like this all the time, and I think it's really neat. I, I believe it's just an homage to that. Uh, next up, we got some car stuff. Or, well, we got this first. Uh... You know, I don't know what this is, but I believe this is uh, like Goofy's car or it's a Disney car, Disney character's car. Look at that. It's even got wood grain on the dash. Grip that wood grain wheel, you know what I'm saying? Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what I'll use it for or if I'll even keep it, but whatever. Then we got this guy. I believe it's a McDonald's toy or something. This is not, uh, does not roll, so I don't know what this is for, what that's from, but whatever. Put him back here. Got another Lightning McQueen. You can see the holographic eyes. Pretty cool. Um, you know, these die casts are really nice. They're just expensive, man. This is like, they're like five or six bucks at Toys R Us, like for one. I don't know. I mean, they're cool. If I was a kid, I would so super be into these, but I'm just not. And then finally, we got this guy. Look at this. Matchbox Series number 75, Ferrari Bernaletta. I'm sorry, I butchered that. Made in England by Lesney. How about that? Very cool. Now, I don't know what year this is. Um, I know with old matchboxes, it sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell the year of it because they don't put production dates on the bases. So with, I'll do a little bit of research and probably down in the description or in the comments, I will post a rough estimate of the year on this, this guy. But look at this, man. How cool is that? The paint is a little beat up. This is like a prime candidate for a restoration. Uh, the wheels are in really good shape still. The axles are straight. Um, still got the little trailer hitch on the back. Uh, the body doesn't look like it's dinged up really, just paint chip. The glass is in really good shape. I mean, I was super duper happy to find this car for sure. Um, this is probably, uh, I'm guessing here, I'm guessing, but I think this is the oldest, uh, oldest car that I've ever had in my collection so very very cool um, so we got some vintage stuff in this this one so very cool um, be sure to leave, drop a like if you enjoyed this um, I have more thrift hauls on the way so stay tuned uh, thanks for watching peace out